You're listening to an archived Cabral Concept podcast. After listening to this show, check out the most up-to-date podcasts available at stephencabral.com slash podcasts or search directly on iTunes. And now, welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner Dr. Stephen Cabral shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Thank you so much for joining me here today on this Friday Review, where I'm bringing you this from Austin, Texas. So I'm down here for about 36 hours, excited to be able to give a short talk, able to do a small private book signing for about 75 to 100 people, and then get right home and uh, actually just see my girls for the weekend. So really happy about that. That is actually... This trip is my last trip, so it's a, it's a fun one. It's kind of bittersweet. This is the last trip that I'll be doing in terms of um, kind of the book launch. And again, it was not a major launch or anything like that that I was trying to do, but I did do you know somewhere about, well, let's say somewhere about 10 or 12 cities, and this being my last stop. Now, again, this is more of a private one that I said I would do, and uh, it's Austin's a place that I love visiting. Now, I know a lot of people have wanted to do meetups as well, whether it be Austin or Seattle and California, different places that I've been. And that is something that I do plan on doing hopefully this fall. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited that when I start my travel back up this fall, that I'll be able to also do some just small private meetups, just get to meet a lot of our community. Really excited about that. But one thing just to know, and I've talked about this with my you know Mindset and Motivation Mondays and all those different things, is that for me, right after Memorial Day or let's say mid-June, the weather starts to get really nice in the Boston New England based area. And that is the time that I like to spend more time with family, more time unwinding, really focus back more on outdoor exercise, getting outside. And then as we get to Labor Day, uh, which is September, for those of you who don't live in the US, then that's that's back. So it's like that's my next season. Then I start to get more involved in work. And that's of course when we'll be launching our health coaching certification that we're so excited about. We're happy to hear and see all of your emails coming in that you're excited as well. So you know, just a lot of great things going on and, and you know, just appreciate everyone making the book just a great success. I mean, we hit number one on Amazon, which was amazing to see. And we did that for uh, the book's only been out, what, about um, three or four weeks now. And, and um, it was number one for at least three of those weeks. So excited about that. Thank you so much. Obviously, it's your support that made that happen. And one thing I want to let you know with these Friday reviews is a little bit of what I just chatted about right there. I want to structure it in a way what you're going to get out of these Friday reviews because they're one of my favorite shows to do, but I want you to know exactly how you can benefit from all of these podcasts. Well, with the Mindset and Motivation Monday, that's very apparent, very obvious. That is for everyone. That's to understand how to get yourself motivated and why. Like, What's the big picture? So it's very big picture thinking. Nothing that you're going to figure out that day, but big picture in life. And then Total Wellness Tuesdays, we have our weight loss wellness, basically body transformation Wednesdays. On Thursdays, we're going to be doing our training Thursday for exercise, our body, but also we're going to use that in terms of what's called toxicity Thursdays. We're going to do a lot of the topics that I talk about in the Rain Barrel Effect and really bring those to life, You know, give that a lot more meaning for you. And then Friday Reviews, what I want that to be, I'm going to kind of tell you what's been going on that week things that I'm excited about. But I also want to bring you every single week one piece of research or one life hack. So I'm going to call them life hacks. And I have a big life hack for you today that I'm excited to share with you. So I'll be doing that. And then the third part of our Friday review is going to be some type of book review or product review that I just love and that I need to share with you. Or we've gotten a lot of questions on, right? So in the summertime, I'm usually talking about natural SPFs and I'm talking about you know, natural skincare products and all sorts of different things. And so excited to bring you that. And again, those are all things I've done in the past. And the fourth one, all through 2018, I'll be bringing you each and every Friday, the super nutrient of the week. And we've had so many great shows on that. We've talked about herbal adaptogens. We've talked about B vitamins, like certain B vitamins. We've talked about vitamin A. So we've talked about all these great things and why, why you need that. Meaning that you cannot be a healthy, happy human if you are vitamin deficient. And I'm not talking about blood work to vitamin deficient. I'm not talking about that. Your body will get what it needs at a blood level. 
What I'm talking about is a functional deficiency. I'm talking about at a tissue level, you don't have optimal stores or optimal utilization. What does that mean? Well, it means that you have enough not to get a disease, of course, right? You have enough not to get rickets. You have enough not to get scurvy, right? You have enough vitamin C for that, but you don't have enough vitamin C or enough of whatever vitamin it may be to really boost your immune system, to give you energy, to not have brain fog. Like there's a huge difference, a huge difference that conventional medicine does not understand between not being sick, basically having a disease and living optimally and healthy. Because remember, if just because you're not diagnosed with a disease doesn't mean you can't feel terrible. That's where conventional medicine just has no idea how to help you. And that's obviously where I was at. That's where many of you are at. Meaning you know that you could feel better. You know that you could have more energy. You know you could have more vitality. You know you could have more passion in your life. And you don't have that. And usually, usually it's because there's some type of imbalance. And again, if you tune back in to last week's or this week's Total Wellness Tuesday, which I believe was titled The Only Two Causes of Disease, you'll understand exactly what that means. You'll understand that once you look at a deep root cause level, you'll be able to rebalance your body. And that was in episode 830. So stevencabral.com forward slash 830. Again, all previous podcasts, because I'm going to be referring back to a few today. All right, stevencabral.com forward slash podcast. At any time, you can search that page with a keyword such as foam roller, which we'll be talking about a little bit today. Any of those things, you can search on that page for 830 episodes of all of that different content. So take advantage of that, really use it. And of course, you can join cabralsupportgroup.com to ask any questions you may have on a daily basis. So excited to be able to help you on that front. Just one more thing before we get into the show, or two more things, is an unbelievable response to our brand new CBD oil. I cannot thank you enough. I knew, I knew that you would enjoy it. But our first users of that product had already gotten it. We talked about it just again. This is podcast only. We talked about it last Friday. People bought it right away because they're saving $20 per bottle. Like It's $10 off retail, which is always what we're offer. We're supposed to sell it for $99. We sell it for $89. And then we took another $10 off, so it's $79 a bottle. And this is, again, this is, it's either ending today or it's, it's ending this weekend. I have to check with my team. But this is just a fun little pop-up, brand new version 3. I'm not going to talk about it today. I talked about it last Friday. So just tune into last Friday's Friday review on why it's different, how it's better, and how we want to be the leaders in the CBD industry. We really do. We want to push cannabinoids to its best level. We want to get as much as we can out of that cannabis or hemp-based plant. So we want to make sure that people with, whether it's anxiety, insomnia, inflammation, joint pain, ticks, seizures, ADD, low mood, cancer, any of these things that they're able to get the most out of this plant-based medicine. So that's my goal. I will continue to upgrade that when possible. We're on version three right now, V3, version three, best in the industry. I can tell you that right now. It is the best in the industry because we take advantage of the latest manufacturing, meaning that the plant is already organic. Like We're getting organically grown, no pesticide, but we also are pushing the envelope on how you manufacture CBD. So excited about that. That is ending today, I believe, or this weekend. And then we're going to do one more. I told you May is the month of all sorts of exciting based things. There's just a lot that I want to bring you. I mean, that's the truth. And I get excited about this. I use them myself. So why not share with you? Well, next week, next Monday, I believe is when it starts. I'll I'll let you know. It it could be this Sunday. I'll, I'll check my team, but definitely not until Sunday or Monday. We're going to be doing a one week, or I shouldn't even say it's a week. It's going to be 100 copies. And now I was just told it's down to 99 copies. So we have 99 signed copies of the Rain Barrel Effect. So basically just limited edition. These are actually all going to be signed. They are being shipped or just were shipped to our fulfillment house, which ships out all of our products and labs and they ship out the books. So we just sent 99 copies over there and we are going to be basically giving those out all next week. You can go to stephencabral.com forward slash store and you'll see a little tab at the top that basically shows you how you can get your free signed copy of the Rain Barrel Effect. I personally signed them and I shipped them out last week. Excited about that. I love being able to do these fun little things for people. And so check that out. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to talk about a life hack that I really like. So a lot of people I know and a lot of people in my practice, their lower confidence, lower self-image, lower mood, leading to anxiety, depression, just not feeling that great about themselves. They're just not. And sometimes it comes and goes, and sometimes it's all the time. 
Well, there's one thing that I learned many, many years ago. And again, my job is to learn all of these things. And again, there's just one thing about me. There's only one thing that I was, you know, even given or whatever you want to call it, is that it just gets stuck in my brain. It gets lodged there, which is why I kind of taught myself how to read very, very quickly. Because the more knowledge I can absorb, the more it will just stick there. And then I can share all of that with you. And one of those things that I was taught is that when you want to change your mindset and you're not able to talk yourself out of something, you're not able to talk yourself into something, is that what you want to do is then you want to start to change your body. And here's why. Your psychology, meaning if you're in a bad mood, you're not feeling that great, can affect your body. It can affect your digestion. You can feel weak. You can feel tired. All of those things. But the opposite is always true. Almost always, the opposite is also true. So here's the deal. If you are feeling anxious, if you're feeling worried, like let's just say you have a big meeting coming up or you have an interview or any of those things and you're not feeling as self-confident or going out on a date, like any of those things, or you wake up in the morning, you're feeling low energy and you don't really want to get into the day. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to change your physiology. That means your body, basically, how your body's working. I want you to change your body so that it then affects your mind. Because remember, your mind can affect your body, but your body can also affect your mind. They use this a lot in neuro-linguistic programming, a lot of uh, behavioral-based therapy, and I love it because it works. So what I want you to do is I want you to either look in the mirror, or if you don't like looking in the mirror, totally fine. What I want you to do is stand up, because we want you to stand up. And if you're at your desk, you can do this at your desk, but I would love you to be able to stand up, pull back your shoulders, lift your rib cage puff out your chest. That's the first part, all right? So basically, you know, you've seen cartoons or whatever might be, you know, someone beating their chest, right? Well, that's what I want you to do. I don't want you to actually beat your chest, but what I want you to do is sit up straight or stand up tall, pull back your shoulders. And I'm actually standing right now doing this. Pull back your shoulders, puff out that chest. I want you to start to feel that confidence. I want you to start to feel how strong you feel because that's what we're going for, feeling strong. Then what I want you to do is I want you to lift your chin a little bit. A lot of people kind of bury their head down. You know, they're kind of looking at the world around them with their head kind of bowed down a little bit. Not you. That is not what I want from you right now. I want you to lift your head up proudly, lift that chin up, and I want you to also then now start to engage your glutes. What does that mean? Just kind of squeeze your butt cheeks. That's it. Squeeze so that you stand up tall. Now you have your chest raised. You have your rib cage raised. And I'm not talking about arching your lower back. I'm not talking about that. What I'm talking about is lifting the rib cage, lifting, it's called the thoracic part of the vertebrae, your chest and mid back. Lift that up, stay strong, engage your glutes so you're standing up tall and lift your chin slightly so at least it's parallel to the floor or slightly higher. You have your shoulders back. Now I want you to take a deep breath in through your nose and into your belly, but then feel it and just expand your rib cage. By now, you should already be feeling in a, you're in a power postural position. I guess that's the three Ps right there, right? Powerful postural position. So you have great posture, right? Great, great posture. And you took a deep breath and you're inhaling all of that oxygen because your lungs now are wide open. Get that air down to those lower lobes of the lungs. I do this every single time, every single time before I go to speak. Because again, I've, I've given, I don't even know how many talks, quite a few. We'll put it that way. And it's not that I'm really like nervous about speaking, but you always get that little feeling like, okay, like, here we go, here we go. And of course, in the beginning, I was, I was always, always nervous, of course, always, because you have a, you know, you have a hundred or more eyeballs on you, you know, but now like I get charged. I love to do it. I really do love speaking in front of people because I love sharing my message. And the more people are in the audience, the more people I get to share the message with. So now it's a different mindset. I don't think like, oh, well, they're here to see me talk. No, no, no. They're here to hear this message. They're here to engage so that they get the benefit so that they can live a better life. Now it's all about the message. That's, that's really what I'm after. And that just kind of comes, I think, with a little bit of maturity on my end. But what I want you to do is the same thing I do. I just open up that. I just feel the strength of the body. And every time I start to feel maybe a little bit of that anxiousness, anxiety, whatever I do, check, postural check, pull those shoulders back, lift the rib cage up, chin parallel to the floor, engage the glutes. I'm ready to go. Now, there are different levels to this. If you're by yourself, you know, you want to amp yourself up in terms of energy or like you're at the gym, you want to do a personal best, whatever it is, a PR. A lot of people like literally start to like roar. They like, they let out that lion's roar. Now, if you're by yourself, 
Great exercise. One, relieves a lot of stress. Number two, it makes you feel powerful, like literally powerful. Now try that. I'm telling you, when you're by yourself, just try it. It's a lot of fun. Just try that. Now, the last piece to this is, and this is, again, this is psychological based, but it's also nature based. When you're in that power postural position, raise your arms overhead in a V. Why would you do that? Well, in nature, it actually makes yourself larger. So they say like, if you see an animal in nature, again, I don't know if I would do this or not, but you can raise your arms up in a V and you can actually hold your jacket up behind you. It makes you look like a larger, more intimidating character. But the other thing is just by raising your arms up in a V with that power posture, you're basically signifying victory. Like I won, I did it, like all of those things. If you do that, that only takes a couple minutes, that's it. And you breathe with it, your mindset will be different. It improves oxygenation, which improves your health and your thinking and the brain fog. So pretty amazing. I think it's fantastic. Great way to do it. And if you won't do it, ask yourself why. Why won't you do that? Why won't you try it out? Are you worried what people think? Remember, you can do this in your own bathroom. So check that out. Really, really powerful stuff. So anyway, I I really enjoyed that. That's your life hack for this Friday. All right. Number three is I want to go over this product review. And the reason is I've talked about, I've spoken about it before on previous podcasts, but one of them was way back on episode 14. I checked. I actually, you know, again, I went to stephencorral.com forward slash podcast and I checked. So I talked about it way back then. And then I believe I also talked about it on episode 504. And I did. So that was what, 300 and almost 330 episodes ago. So what I want to do though, is when you ask questions, I see them come in. I see them come in at Brawl Support Group. Um, My team lets me know about it. And I say, all right, we're getting a bunch of questions, which means people may not have gone back and listened to the podcast or it's kind of a new topic. So what I want to do is I want to cover this quickly today and then refer you to today's show notes, which is Stephen Cabral dot com forward slash eight thirty three. All right. Stephencabral.com forward slash eight thirty three is today's podcast. And that's where all of the show notes literally will be today. All of the links to whatever I'm talking about will be right there. We'll link up what do we talk about so far? The C B D oil. We'll link to the website for Monday when the new pop up becomes available Monday morning. We'll link up to all of these different foam rollers that I'm about to talk about. And then we'll link up to the super nutrient of the week right after that. Okay, so in my practice, again, we have two different practices in Boston. One is for functional medicine, naturopathic-based practices that encompasses everything we do, which is Ayurveda, bioregulatory medicine, everything that we just call natural health. So there's that practice. And then we also have our fitness studio, which is personal training and nutrition. And I have an amazing team of eight personal trainers at that location. And they teach people basically on their very, very high level. This is not, and again, like no disrespect because I started there myself. This is not personal training where the personal trainer takes you through like a machine circuit and they're on their phone, like texting with their buddies and they're not really designing customized programs for you. No, this is what I always envisioned personal training to be. And again, I've been doing this for quite some time, right? I started this in college back in the day. So for me, that's the evolution of personal training is be able to first take someone through the fundamentals of training, which is, I mean, really, this is important, learning how to work both the left side and right side evenly, learning how to do your deadlift squats, lunges, step ups, learning how to do your presses and pulls correctly, realigning the body, fixing the posture, working out any of these adhesions that we're going to talk about right now. And then after that, designing really highly customized programs based on your body. So we do that every single day in Boston. I mean, if you're in the Boston area, we would love to work with you. Or the truth is that we just provide a complimentary consultation to even see if it would be a good fit because we only take on eight new people per month. That's it. And the reason is that, well, one, we don't want to just make sure we're overwhelmed with new people so that we can provide the highest level of customer service. It's always about the highest level of customer service with me. And it always has been. And sometimes that frustrates a lot of people who that I work with and that I might do partnerships with is that I'm unwilling to compromise that. I'm unwilling to compromise it because customer service is so important to me. Like when I purchase a product or I go do like health retreat service, like spa services, things like that, I just want good customer service. Like I just want to know that I'm going to get essentially what I'm looking for. That's it. Because I've been through it all and I've seen really good and really bad. And it's part of the experience. Like you just want to know that someone values you, obviously paying for your services, and 
that they're going to get the most out of it. And so why not? Like, why not? If you're going to do something, why not really try to be the best at it? Give somebody your all. And so that's what our team does. They're highly skilled personal trainers. If you're in the Boston area, just go stephengrabalstudio.com forward slash get started. And you can actually fill out an application there. We, of course, would love to work with you. But I always say, let's say you're not in the Boston area. How can we help you? Well, we can help you with all of these different tips that I give you on the training Thursdays. But also one thing we do with our clients is to make sure that their body's in proper alignment, that they don't have a lot of these adhesions and tightness and all the different things. So I want to talk about just for a second, this will just be about two minutes or so, is fascia. Fascia is something that's very rarely talked about, whether you're in the health industry, not in the health industry, it doesn't really matter. But fascia is really what connects all of the muscles in our body. It keeps the muscles in place. It provides structure, but yet it's almost never talked about. So that's the interesting thing is that I think just even, let's say 30, 40 years ago, it was kind of thought, well, like your skin just kind of holds your muscles and bones in place. That's not true. Like that is not true. Your skin is actually part of your immune system. It's a gland, or I should say it's an organ, largest organ in the body. And it acts as your immune system. It acts as a detox organ as well. It's protecting you from the outside environment. And it's also excreting toxins through the skin too. But what we know now is that when you're looking at cadavers or you're doing a autopsy or whatever you want to call it, I don't know the best way to talk about that. For me, it was just looking at cadavers and understanding how the human body works is that there's this connective tissue. It's basically, it literally looks like a spider web. So it's a connective tissue of web that runs around your blood vessels, which feed your muscles, muscle spindles that are then wrapped in fascia. And the fascia is what keeps things in place, essentially gives stability. And it also allows for better contraction, uh, meaning as the muscles contract, it moves with it. So, and contraction expansion. So a lot of the times though, as we have tight muscles, we're also talking about we have tight fascia. It's not just what we call adhesions or knots in the muscle. What we're really talking about is entangled fascia or fascia entanglement, it's called. And the only way to stretch out those hamstrings, lower back, top of the hips, where like the iliacus is or the quadratus laborum, is to actually open up and to, we'll call it break up those adhesions and break up the fascia to elongate that fascia. And then if we elongate the fascia, then the muscles will be allowed to elongate. And one of the best ways to do that is through something called foam rolling. And I've spoken about this before. I've actually provided an old school YouTube video that I did. Some of those are provided on um, steamcabral.com forward slash 504. But what I want to do is I want to go through a little bit more of all of the different tools we use at my fitness center And then you could just purchase them on your own. And and of course, you can follow along the videos on how to open up the body. I'll tell you right now, though, I can't go too deep into this because I could talk about it for 20 minutes. But if you have tight muscles and a tight body and tight hamstrings, it's going to affect your nervous system. It really will. And this is being proven out. Like the tighter you are, the less oxygen is really fed through the body. And the more stiff you feel, and it affects your mood, it affects your body, it affects the nervous system, it affects your overall health. It really does matter. So work on your flexibility work on your mobility, and do it for your overall health, not even how well your body moves. I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference. Okay, so some of the tools that we use are called foam rollers. And what's a foam roller? Well, it's something that basically is made out of foam and you can roll on, but really what it does is called myofascial release. And so it's basically, you are not getting a massage, although a massage is obviously great, but you are rolling on some type of instrument to elongate the fascia and you're doing it by yourself. So we're releasing the fascia, okay? So we just use regular foam rollers. So everybody, a lot of people know what a regular foam roller is, but if you don't, I'm going to link it up and I'm also going to link up a video on how to do it. These are very, very inexpensive as well. Okay. And the other thing that we'll do is something called a rumble roller. A rumble roller is like a foam roller. Okay. It's about a foot long to three feet long. You can choose whatever size you want, but it has little knobs on it, little bumps on it. And what those bumps do is it allows it to get deeper into certain areas. So if you have tighter iliotibial band or IT band or quadricep, whatever it might be, you can get deeper into that with this rumble roller. Now, I also don't recommend starting with a rumble roller though. And that's because if you are very, very tight, it's going to be very painful. Now that pain is showing you all of the different adhesions that you have, but start lighter. Start with a lighter foam roller and then work your way up to a denser foam roller, maybe a maybe even like a PVC-based pipe foam roller. And then you can work your way up to a rumble roller if you choose to. Now for the hips, one of the best ways to open up your hips, I'm telling you, the hips are the most neglected 
part of stretching and foam rolling. And even massage, like in the United States, massage therapists are basically like nervous or afraid to massage your glutes. And people are typically so (laughs) uptight in the United States. Again, I'm just using generalizations that nobody even wants their glutes massaged. And they're like, oh, don't touch them. You know, like, okay, first of all, it's a part of your body. Second of all, it's the largest muscle in your body. And third, if your hips are tight, well, good luck trying not to have uh, lower back tightness, okay? So we need our hamstrings elongated, our psoas muscles elongated, and we need our hips open and free to rotate and move, all right? So one of the best ways you can do that on your own is using something called a mile ball. So we use a mile ball, uh, which is great. That's a foam-based one. And then if you want to go heavier, you can use something called a supernova. And that's a great, that's a more of a rubber-based one, really gets in there. That's amazing. And then after that, you could just use a lacrosse ball, like a rubber lacrosse ball to get deep into the piriformis base area and the hip rotators. It's absolutely amazing. I know I can't do a whole show on this right now. Maybe I will in the future if you're interested, but I will link up videos and I will link up all of these tools and then you can look them up for yourself. Okay. Love that for the hips. Now, the last thing that we use is either, again, a straight lacrosse ball on a wall, like leaning into a wall, amazing as well, or something called the P-knot. Now, the P-knot is what I used to use back in the day. So again, before all of these cool things were invented, we had to be creative. So I learned this way back in the day from Mike Boyle and one of his physical therapists on his team when he was training the Boston University hockey team. And Mike's actually, he's, uh, or we'll call him Coach Boyle to give him the respect that he's due. You know, he's worked with the, the women's Olympic hockey team, like really pretty, pretty impressive resume. And so one of the physical therapists he was working with back in the day literally put two tennis balls together and wrapped them with hockey tape or friction tape. And that turned into something that you could roll along the, not on your spine, but the muscles that run up and down the spine. Okay. We're talking about the lower trapezius muscles. You can get in the rhomboids. So a lot of those muscles that kind of make us stiff back there. All right. Well, so I used to just make those and I made them and I give them out to all my clients way back in the day. Well, now they have one that's already pre-made for you. So it's called the P dash knot. So literally the letter P dash K N O T. Now there are multiple brands. It's not the only one, but this one we use quite a bit at my um, studio as well. And I wanted to pass that along to you. I'm telling you right now, you use the two lacrosse balls or even just a single lacrosse ball against the wall, the two tennis balls taped together or the peanut along your mid back. Unbelievable. So good. You just feel so much more loose, relaxed. It's fantastic. So Those are all products that we use every day, and I wanted to bring those to you. Remember, the looser you are, the more flexible you are, the more mobile you are, the less likely you're going to get injured in and out of the gym, and the more blood flow oxygenation you can bring to all your muscles. You're going to feel fantastic. Okay, so now let's move on to our super nutrient of the week. Excited to bring you today's super nutrient of the week, and that is maca. So maca is something that I've been recommending and using myself and in my practice for quite some time. Although I no longer use it on a daily basis, it's one of those adaptogens, which again, we spoke about those last Thursday, right? We talked about the adrenal-based herbs last Thursday, and you can add maca to that list if you wanted to. However, I use maca in my practice for a very different reason, so I'm excited to share that with you today. So every week, I try to bring you a super nutrient of the week. Sometimes they're vitamins, sometimes they're minerals, sometimes they're amino acids, and today, it's actually a super nutrient that most people think is actually a mushroom. And the reason they think it's a mushroom is because it's put a lot of times in mushroom-based blends or mushroom-type coffees, right? So it's not a caffeinated-based coffee, but they're using a mushroom-based blend. Well, the difference is that maca is actually a vegetable. So it's a cruciferous vegetable, but it's grown underground. It's a root-based vegetable that looks more like a turnip or a radish. So it can come in different colors, but the thing about maca in general is that as a root-based vegetable, in this case, it's also considered an adaptogen. So it works a lot like an herb or an herbal-based product, such as the ashwagandha we spoke about or the rhodiola. But in this case, like I said, it's allowing the body to better handle stress. So when you're being kind of like pushed back, pushed back, pushed back, and all this type of stress in your life, whether it's work, life, relationships, career, foods, GI issues, Well, what maca does is it helps to modulate that stress to a better degree and to a greater degree. And again, tune back in to stephencabral.com forward slash, let's see the number right here. It was just this past week, forward slash 832. All right. So it was yesterday. (laughs) So yesterday on the training Thursday, we took some time out to say, how can we energize your body and how we deal stress better? So check that out. Today's episode 833. 
And one of the reasons that I want to bring you this is that maca, yes, it's high in antioxidants, but what people use it for, and what I use it for a lot in my practice, is that it's literally a superstar when it comes to boosting energy from a, like a moderated pace. And what I say my moderated is not letting people get too high and not letting people get too low. So it can be used for people with anxiety who are trying to get off caffeine a little bit. And that's a really great one because it helps with enhanced uh, focus and memory and energy. Anything that is going to give your body more energy is going to also help. Again, I talked about that with the brain as well. Okay, so how do I really use it in my practice? Because that's what I wanted to bring you. Okay, I use it the most with people transitioning off of one of the adrenal-based products that I spoke about, such as Adrenal Soothe or Adrenal Energy Support. But I use it and I find it the most in my practice when women have estrogen dominance, okay? What does that mean? Well, you run a thyroid hormone adrenal test or an adrenal hormone test. And again, these are simple saliva tests that you can run right at home. I will link them up today at stevencabal.com forward slash 833. So what you do is if you find that for the last five days of your cycle, 10 days of your cycle or so, you start to get symptoms such as lower mood, irritability, some digestive issues, or you get skin breakouts, or you know even more depression, or you get seasonal affective, like whatever it might be, but it's mainly during the last, let's say, seven to 14 days of your cycle, that can typically show estrogen dominance. And again, you can run a simple lab test to find that out. You're going to do it five to seven days or so before your uh, day one of menstruation, and you can take that lab and it will show you. Well, this also, so I'm going to talk about that, but also helps women in menopause who are experiencing anything from, again, lowered mood, acne, they're experiencing drier skin, they're experiencing uh, hot flashes. So there's multiple studies, multiple studies in women, whether it's premenopausal, menopausal, or postmenopausal associated with depression and ambition, drive, libido, all of those things as maca helping to balance the body naturally. That's the amazing thing about an adaptogen. It's not trying to bring you too high. It's trying to bring you back to level. And this is one of the issues I have with natural health. I love, Obviously, this is what I do, right? But you can't just give someone maca and be like, okay, everything's going to be good. No, not maca alone. It's, again, tune into yesterday's show, 832. It's the lifestyle. It's the sleep. It's everything else. And you might be deficient on things like magnesium. And that's why, again, running the hair tissue mineral analysis running an organic acids test, you might be low on your B vitamins, those types of things. All of it, you have to do all of it together. That's how you truly get well. But maca is one of those things that I will use with women with estrogen dominance. Okay. So what do they do? It's so simple. You can just add maca powder to your morning smoothie. That's it. Like that's literally all you have to do. And the dosage is bio-individual dependent. How much do you need? Well, people use anywhere from one gram to 20 grams. You know, like they're literally using a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon, all the way up to two tablespoons, right? So it's quite a bit. It's a very, very powerful root-based vegetable. And why I say root, root is important. Root vegetables are really great overall for fertility as well. So we'll use this for women and men. So in men as well. So for men, it's been shown to increase libido. It's been shown to improve sperm count, sperm motility. So and again, all of these things are scientifically proven. I wouldn't give you the data if there weren't already PubMed studies, Google Scholar studies, but that's what we mainly use it for. So we use it for women premenopausal, irregular cycles, or we use it for PMS-based symptoms. We use it for hot flashes and we use it postmenopausal as well. Now, we don't use it forever. We probably use it for, again, somewhere between 12 and 16 weeks. And then for uh, men, we use it to help with fertility, to improve a sperm count, and then we also use it to increase sexual desire as well. So Really, really great for that. But also, there are many studies on how it enhances mood and memory and energy. Because again, I talked about this yesterday, but once you start to improve that oxygenation, endurance is going to go up, stamina is going to go up, memory is going to go up. Really, really simple. I'm going to link to it, products that I like in the show notes today. And again, that will be at stephencabral.com forward slash 833. I'll link all that up. I keep calling it an herb because that's that's how we kind of like refer to it as, but really it's not even herbal based. It's it's really it'd be like saying celery. You know, it's more like or turnips or radishes would be a, a better analogy. But it's one of those things that we use quite a bit in natural health to help with performance in life in general and to help balance. And I would say again, my my favorite way to use it, because I have a favorite way for all of these things, is it's one of those not always, but it's one of those things that I will recommend as kind of a tier two or tier three supplement 
And that means you're already doing your activated multi or you're doing your daily nutritional support. Maybe you're doing the daily fruit and vegetable blend. You're taking like if, if men have fertility issues or women were taking zinc first, like I would obviously do zinc over maca first. The reason is that's a tier one. Like if you have deficiencies in zinc or, or vitamin C, you're not going to be able to create sperm. Like you're just not. So like you have to go with foundational first. Maca is great, but it's not foundational. Then I say, okay, we've taken care of those. Great. If you're okay with it, you want to do one more. I want to add maca in for the estrogen dominance. I want to add maca in for libido and sexual desire and stamina, endurance. And I want to add it in for fertility as well. So keep in mind, there's a time and a place for everything. It's a great product. I really enjoy using it. I really like using it with people in my practice. And I figured if people in my practice are getting benefit and I can see the clinical results, why not share that with you, right? So all of that will be linked up in today's show notes. Today was a little bit longer Friday review. I hope that you enjoyed it. We'll keep them under the 30 minute mark in the future, but uh, really excited about this new format, excited about all the things that I wanted to bring you. Thank you so much for tuning into the Cabral concept and be sure to tune back in tomorrow as we start our first of two Cabral house calls where I'm answering our community's questions each and every weekend. Take care. Talk to you soon. Before you go, I wanted to share a personal story with you. The real reason I began to get well finally is because I figured out what was wrong with me. And that might seem pretty obvious, but I went from doctor to doctor for over two years before discovering at-home functional medicine lab testing. These are the labs that enabled me to finally figure out what was wrong with my hormones, blood sugar, electrolytes, and gut health. And once I knew what was wrong, I could then follow a proven plan in order to rebalance my body from the inside out. This is why I believe so strongly in functional medicine lab testing and why I've made it my mission to share these labs with the world. Now at equa.life, you can order an at-home lab test or a lab bundle for you and your family and be able to complete it within the week. Plus, the Equal Life difference is that you're not left to try to read and figure out these labs on your own. We explain what your lab numbers mean, what they mean in the much bigger picture, and then how to go about rebalancing your body in order to heal. To see our full selection of lab tests or to set up a free lab selection call to find out what labs may be best for you, simply head on over to equa.life forward slash labs. And do remember, we ship these all over the world. To find out more and to set up your free lab selection call, simply head on over to equa.life forward slash labs. That's E-Q-U-I dot L-I-F-E forward slash labs.